after three days of illuminating plenary discussions, thought-provoking focus sessions and an exhibition showcasing cutting-edge geospatial technology, Geosmart Asia 2015 closed its doors on Thursday. The conference saw attendance from over 800 high-profile delegates, ranging from policymakers and technology providers to end-user segments and academic communities. As the curtain falls on this year's event, we thought we would ask some of the attendees if they got what they were looking for. Uh, well, uh, this conference, uh, Geospatial Asia uh, 2015, is uh, very interesting for me uh, because uh, I'm from the Space Agency and uh, I can um, communicate with the, uh, many uh, organization staff and also the uh, private sectors in the uh, uh, mapping and the applications. That's uh, very interesting for the, uh, us. Thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. My name is Saiful. I'm from uh, Petronas. It's very good, a very good conference. A, um, uh, meeting new people, of course, and uh, uh, receive uh, very good feedbacks. And uh, this is very informative. And because we meet uh, people uh, from Asia regions, uh, from different uh, backgrounds, from different uh, experience level of education, education backgrounds, then we share it together. So it is, it is very good, it's very informative. My name is John Trinder. I'm Meredith's professor from the University of New South Wales in Australia. Uh, I'm here to actually represent the Surveying and Spatial Science Institute of Australia, of which I'm president, I'm currently president. Um, I came here as a guest and um, I'm really very impressed with the content of the conference. I like the title, GeoSmart because it does demonstrate the uh, use of new, new technologies uh, in the geosciences. And uh, I'll actually be incorporating some of the information I've learnt in my lectures when I go back to Australia because uh, certainly it's uh, visualisation and demonstration of 3D data, the acquisition of 3D data that goes into uh, 3D city models, uh, uh, these sorts of aspects um, I, I, I will incorporate and change my lectures uh, and I will include it in my lectures that I'm going to give in China shortly as well. I'd like to congratulate the organisers. It's a, a very interesting uh, topics and conference. Uh, a number of streams I haven't been able to see, which I would have liked to be able to see more of them, but uh, that's always happens with a conference. But uh, I'm very impressed and uh, well done organizers. I'm Warlito Kirimit from the Philippines and uh, I'm happy to be invited here in the conference and uh, uh, it's very exciting and uh, we're glad to have this uh, opportunity to attend this conference because uh, there are a lot of challenges and opportunities uh, that was presented and uh, it's an opportunity for us to learn from the different experiences of different uh, agencies and uh, uh, technology service uh, provider and uh, this uh, conference is also an opportunity for us to share some of our innovations, project innovations that we have introduced in our country. Uh, I'm a speaker for this uh, Josma Asia then a lot of things I get from here uh, one of things is a UAV technologies so many many uh, now I have uh, found a lot of uh, people using the UAV to do a uh, work, actually, especially for the utilities uh, company. So I feel a lot of experience I, I got from here. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Yunus, Muhammad Yusuf, and uh, I'm the chairperson for the uh, and the speaker for the uh, GeoGrid uh, session. And uh, I think that this session has been very beneficial to everyone because uh, it's uh, it laid down all the, the, the things that, that we require about geospatial uh, application, you know, for uh, electricity. And I think uh, the, uh, it has been, been beneficial to everyone uh, in, the, uh, in the session. Uh, uh, and, and of course, it's, it's been very interesting for me to, to chair the session. And I, and I hope the, the, uh, this, this sort of uh, what call event could be held further, you know, probably in the future. Trudy Ganendra, Managing Director of Ground Data Solutions R&D, an airborne LiDAR company. Um, the GeoSmart has been very interesting for us. We have had a booth here as well as given a presentation and I've also sat on the panel. 
um, it's been very interesting to see um, see what other people are doing in the industry and also hear what they've uh, said in their presentations. Um, certainly the geomatics industry is changing quite rapidly so a conference like this has been uh, very useful to for us to all to keep up to date with what is going on in the industry worldwide. My name is uh, Jean Pascal. Uh, I work for a company called Lorien. Lorien is a mapping production software house and we are proud to supply our technology in 26 countries all over the world. I've been very impressed with this conference this year uh, here in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we had a chance, uh, thanks to uh, Geospatial Media, uh, to uh, create very good contacts with new people and to improve our uh, connection with uh, people that we already knew. So we really enjoy being here and we look forward to meet you again uh, to the uh, Geospatial Conference in New Delhi soon. My name is Kaushik Chakraborty from Bentley Systems. Um, we are one of the sponsors of this event and uh, we are very happy to see a lot of our users here and our prospects uh, all collected together from various organizations of Southeast Asia and ASEAN region. Uh, this is a great event where we can address and, and listen to the needs of our users and address their needs successfully through the conference. So thanks to the organizers for having us here and putting together a good show.